hello good so hello good afternoon good morning good evening my fellow creative designers and content creators welcome welcome once again to another exciting episode on this segment and today's episode we are going to design this beautiful church flyer i call it holy ghost prophetic and prophetic and encounter service yes this is what we are going to design and please this if this seems to be interesting to you kindly stick around let's go through the tutorials one after the other and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share and comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any way around so without wasting much time control and to open a new document and then we are just going to write the name holy ghost okay so holy ghost is okay holy ghost is okay and then click on it's a, because of, for a social media handle, so you're not going to do much on all the sides. So width is 2000, height 2000, resolution 300, uh, color RGB, color mode, and then um, background white, and everything is okay. So you click on kit and boom, you have this nice background with me. So we have all the resources file here. Just go there and go and download it and then use it for free. So I just double click this side and then i'll open my resource file and let's start working on it so i have this drag it in photoshop and release it like this and boom guys wait for it to load now it's downloading hold alt and then scale it up nicely like this i just want that blue side i just want this side yes this is exactly the size i want this is the size i want and i press enter to check it and then again, I'll go there again, go and pick this resources and then drop it in Photoshop and then drag it beneath it and then set the blending mode. Blending mode to, I uh, think, soft light is awesome. Okay, overlay is okay, overlay is okay. Then press enter, add layer max, sorry. Add layer max and then hit here, press B on the keyboard and then let's clear this part away and then set here to 20 22 is to 50 and 50 is okay now we have the fill inside we have the fill inside then go again go and pick this drag it in photoshop and then scale it up guys scale it up nicely like this and push it at the top yeah push it at the top scale it nicely i, I think it's okay and then let's add layer max again and then clear the edges nicely like this yeah nicely like this and set it to again overlay overlay and then another opacity to let's say 20 and see yeah 20 is okay 20 is okay but let's try 50 and see if 50 will work yeah no 20 will be okay so 20 is awesome 20 is awesome 20 is awesome so now the background is done we are set with the background so click here and click here put it in a group control j and call it background oh sorry this is totally wrong so double click inside the name and write it background all right so the background is set nicely now let's set our guides let's set our guides we'll go to view guides and then new guide layout boom and then you set here six by six and then that is it so click on okay and then we are going to begin with our text so hit t on the keyboard to activate the text to hit here and then write h boom and then let's see the font we are using as if former as if former font and we are using black and we change the color to color white good control a t transform it nicely like this awesome put it here let me put it here nicely and then hold alt and then drag it to duplicate it double click it and write o sorry o and then change here from that okay so double duplicate it and then write l and then duplicate it and then write y yeah to get each of the text drag it closer like this nicely 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 and then this h drag it down like this and then write j good and then 
duplicate this and then write h and then change it to this awesome 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 let's push this and then we drag this to this side good 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 just check it carefully check it carefully and then let's change here to i think this good 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 now it fits exactly it fits exactly now you see how the h and then the the h bars have joined exactly that is exactly what we were looking for and you got it nicely now we are going to do something again to it but let's wait for the meantime let's wait for the meantime let's wait for the meantime let's see this so push this to the side and it should come down everything to hit the line good 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 now duplicate this sorry duplicate this and then o is there just push it closer and then again oh sorry 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 duplicate it and then write your s and then again duplicate it and then write your t good 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 so this and then let's put them in a group let's put some things in a group let's put some things in a group so drag this and this control g or control t and then let's see put the size in a group put them in a group and make sure as we always do it doesn't exceed some part of the line yeah now with this h yes this is the h in which you are going to work on it so right click it and then convert to shape good and then go and pick this selection to or a on the keyboard and then hit here scale the side and then hold alt and then press the down key yes then it will move it down to move it down to move it down to move it yes move it 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 yeah quick keep pressing it press or you can press and hold it fast it move faster fast it move faster okay so now we have what we want over here and i think it's awesome now and then this again h so you are going to drag this side and then hold it and then keep pressing to this side good and i think we just want the h and then the g should be in line so let's bring some guys over there and see sorry let's bring some guys over there and see and i think i think it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay now again let's go and do it for the eye let's go and do it for the eye because those are the parts we stretch so right click it and then convert to shape and then pick a on the keyboard and then select this side sorry select this side and then push up up use the up key use the up key use the up key use the up key keep pressing it keep pressing it fast it's move in so doing you are stretching part of the text yes you are stretching part of the test so if you get it nicely like this then you hit enter then you are done with that one uh, done with that one so this and uh, this everything in the group control j and then call it holy ghost good so this is the holy ghost test let's close some gaps let's close some gaps all right all right all right all right so this is set this is set nicely and then let's push it to this side yeah because we'll be adding an image and then we are going to copy the text from the other side okay so we copy the text hit e on the keyboard and hit here on no s because it's in a group so come and hit anywhere here control v to paste it and then B again to push it down like this control t and then let's scale it up once like this and i think this is awesome now this is awesome now let's close this side let's close this side close it close it close it close it close it close it and then turn it to all caps awesome 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 and then i think we need to some parts need to be let's double click this side 
and then change it to this. Good, 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 good. And then this side needs to be also different from the other. No, this side must be this, rather. Whilst this must be black. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then let's open up this side. And it's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. But Ctrl H to hide the guides, double click it again, Ctrl X to cut this side away, and then T again on the keyboard, and then Ctrl V to paste it. Yeah, and then pick a rectangle to, or let's go and pick an ellipse. Right yeah, ellipse, and then drag it nicely like this, and then make it color white. Yeah, guys, make it color white, and then push this up and make it the color of the background which is something closer to this yeah closer to this and scale it up to something like 15 and let's center and align guys you know how we do it you know how we do it please subscribe to this channel like and share and then let's learn or let's grow together and then again let me know how this channel is helping you because i know a lot of you people have been benefiting from this channel but they don't um even mind showing appreciation so just show appreciation by subscribing to this channel like and share and let me know your comments and then this is prophetic uh, what am i writing prophetic dot, dot, dot. it's okay so we don't want to waste too much time so let's reduce it down then bring it down and then the rest of the details is what with okay let's copy with alone t on the keyboard and then hit here control v to paste it and then we use uh taken by vultures font taken by vultures font and the color we use was this awesome control T and then scale it up nicely like this and bring it here. Good, 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 good. Then again, the next is the name control C to and then T or T on the keyboard hit here. Control V to paste it and we are going to use another font another font another font and this is it this is it this is it this is it awesome 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 let's open here up let's open here up let's open here up and i think this is awesome now we made it all caps we made it all caps yeah we made it all caps we made it all caps and let's see if you can change here to no thing too will be too small so let's still use black guys let's still use black let's still use black and then maybe we need to reduce the size to let's say 10 um, um what do you think what do you think what do you think what do you think 11 11 should be okay and then this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome Okay, so this and this, we put it in a group control J and then call it name. Sorry, name. Good. And then the time, or oh, sorry, date. Let control C to copy it. T here and then hit anywhere T again. If it's not coming, hit here and then control V to paste it. And that is it. That is it. Go and pick the rectangle to draw a rectangle beneath it like this. And give it color white yes give it color white give it color white and then the date should go up like this and then change the color of the date to that of blue like this and let's come and give it boom and center and align center and align. don't worry I'm not going to put it over there I'm going to bring it down just drag it like this and bring it down nicely like this the meaning the name must go up a bit 
yes the name must go up a bit and this is okay this is okay this is okay so this and this we call it date and guys please we didn't add um time and then the date if you check the date well hey, let me change it because uh, we use 2025 meaning it, it's a program which is coming up next year at all and this is for tutorial purposes only this is also for tutorial purposes so let me issue a disclaimer that um, none of the program of this sort is coming on live so please if in case you are planning that you have seen this flyer and you are planning to visit the place for the program then it means um, <laughs> I'm deceiving you in some way yeah I'm deceiving you in some way but I'm not deceiving you entirely but we are learning just for tutorial purposes only that is why we are doing this yeah that is why we are doing this we are doing this for tutorial purposes only then we come back to this the prophetic come back to sorry I said I am the Holy Ghost then let's do control J to duplicate it and then convert one to smart object yes for maybe if uh, for reference sake, maybe you want to change some parts then you go here gradient overlay and boom I've set the gradient overlay already I've set the gradient overlay already and then let me show it to you this is the hex code here is pure black and then that is it then the center this is the hex code a0441b a0441b that is it and then this one again is this so as you can see it's there nicely and then the last one is also here and that is pure white so as you see and then here was a diamond we change here to diamond angle is 90 opacity is 100 and that is it let's see good so you see good so this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome then you click ok like this and then you come back to the prophetic and change the colors yes i told you we'll change the colors i told you we'll change the colors i told you no 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 let's change them one after the other so double click only the prophetic and then let's go and change the color to that of this awesome and then let's go and pick encounter and then go and change it from here or uh, something closer to this awesome and then the service is also similar to this and guys that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome and then i think the name too yeah i think the name too we changed it to that of a color closer to this yeah color closer to this good so it means we are done with all this thing we are done with all this thing but not the entire flyer not the entire flyer so the next thing again we are going to do is drop the image yeah drop the image drag it like this and then press enter and i think maybe with the image better still let's do the need for let's do the need for right click it and then rasterize type go to the properties panel and then move background within just some few seconds the photoshop for you 